Hi, this is Matt Kilgo, Firearms Program Attorney for U.S. Law Shield here in Georgia. We've got a great question today. I saw someone fleeing my home with my property. What can I legally do? What kind of force can I use to stop them? Does it matter if it's at night? Well, it's a great question, and a question about a fleeing felon invokes concepts that we've all heard of, a fleeing felon rule and citizen's arrest. Now, the fleeing felon rule is what we would call a common law rule. Uh, for so long it wasn't really set into statute. It's something that came over with us when we came to the United States from various different countries. The notion that you can prevent the escape of someone who has com uh, committed a felony. In Georgia, there are specific rules that apply to being able to stop a felon who's fleeing and the type of force that you can use. Uh, the Official Code of Georgia Annotated, K, uh, Section 17-4-60, provides that a private citizen, you or me, uh, may make an arrest, number one, if it's a felony, number two, if it's committed within your presence or within your immediate knowledge. So in a situation where you come home, you go in the front door, you see someone going out the back door with the family jewels, well that's within your immediate knowledge, quite frankly it's within your presence, and in that scenario, Georgia law will allow you to effectuate what is known as a citizen's arrest. Now a private citizen may make an arrest upon reasonable and probable grounds of suspicion if the offense is a felony, cannot be a misdemeanor like criminal trespass, it must be a felony such as burglary or theft by taking in this instance, I think either one of those would work, and the offender is escaping or attempting to escape. So. Committed within your presence, it's a felony, and the offender is attempting to escape, such as someone leaving your home and you see them leaving your home with your goods, then you're authorized by statute to attempt to uh, capture them, keep them from escaping until law enforcement can arrive. Now for that arrest to be valid, you must use no more force than is reasonable under the circumstances reasonable under, uh, under the circumstances, what we would call the totality of the circumstances. And deadly force in effectuating such an arrest is limited, number one, to self-defense, the defense of self, or number two, to a situation in which it is necessary to prevent the commission of a forcible felony. Now, this is codified in the law at 17-4-60, but there's also a case called Prayer versus State, P-R-A-Y-O-R, versus state. It's a Georgia Court of Appeals case, 217 Georgia Appeals 5-6. It's a 1995 case that stands for the proposition you can only use deadly force to defend yourself or to prevent the commission of a forcible felony. And we've heard that before and we've, we've talked about that in relation to the use of deadly force to protect yourself. You can use deadly force to protect yourself or another person to uh, prevent the commission of a forcible felony or at any point where you perceive that death or great bodily injury will result. So you can use force to apprehend a fleeing felon. However, you may use no more force than is necessary under the circumstances. Uh, that's a citizen's arrest. And keep in mind, if you were a law enforcement officer, you would not even then uh, be able to shoot a fleeing felon unless that felon posed a, a significant threat to you or to another person, to the community, had possession of a deadly weapon, or you had a reasonable belief that they had committed a serious uh, physical crime or were about to commit that type of crime. So even as a law enforcement officer, you're restricted in the use of deadly force. So certainly as a private citizen, you or I would be restricted. Doesn't matter if it's in the daytime or at night, the law is still the same. So if that person gets halfway across your backyard or up your back fence, don't shoot. Secure your home, call the police, let them do their job so that your liberty remains intact.